it's in the coming days definitely has a lot to offer. But before we, we round it up on this, the High Court yesterday, uh, the Honorable Roxy Defiant McPop, because you're a lawyer and, um, and quite interested in how things are playing out with James' equation, the High Court ruled that the perjury and forgery trial of James' equation will be heard on a day to day basis starting June 20. 2023. In fact, this decision followed the court's rejection of a request made by the Chiquetian's lawyer, Justin Terewaja, to postpone the trial until the Asin North by election is over, after June 27. Presided by Justice Mary Mame Ekwe Yanzu, the court determined to proceed with the trial without delay. This was because the Attorney General, Godfrey Yabu Adame, who understand who was in court himself, opposed this argument by the, the lawyer for Judge Equation, emphasizing that Judge Equation had not been assigned any national duty for that matter. So, because of the seriousness, according to the Attorney General, the seriousness of the charges against Equation, a conviction could result in imprisonment, hence the importance of going ahead of this. So, June 20th, June 21st, 23rd, supposed to be in, in court. Well, yeah, quick one on this, and then... Yet, uh, um, all these matters are predicated on Article 90 of the Constitution. Mm -hmm. Presumption of innocence until proving guilty. And of course, under 19.3, 19.3a, I think, um, every accused person, the trial of a criminal matter ought to take place in the presence of the accused person. So, it's a bit difficult for an accused not to be in court for trial to start. And so I will not fault the courts for fixing dates. But the problem that the NDC has is the manner of the fixing of the dates. The circumstances surrounding the case. This case was filed over two years ago. Over two years ago. I am told that it was filed over two years ago. Suddenly in April, May, June, the Republic sees it fit to start trial, that's fine. But you don't stampede the parties, the accused person especially, into hearing. If you say stampede, what do you mean? Stampede really? means you're asking the person to come to court okay. every, uh, every day, continuously. That's a stampede. He has a reasonable excuse to say that, okay, I can be in court on Monday or Tuesday, but thereafter, give me another week to be able to go sort out some personal issues and come back to court. In any case, it's on bail. So he's, he's available to defend himself in the matter. He's, he's not absconding from the jurisdiction. He's not a fugitive of justice. The lawyer has in the, You see, court hearings are the convenience of parties in the court. That is why when a lawyer proposes a date for a matter to be heard, the court can say that, no, per my calendar, I cannot, I cannot accommodate you. So another date... Will be taken. The, the lawyer on the other side will say, no, that's okay, but it inconveniences me because I'm before another court. So when a lawyer makes a prayer and the judge flatly refuses and unreasonably says hearing days for three, four days, it's a problem. A single day would have been sufficient. Then you see how, like lawyers will say, then we'll okay. see how it goes. In any well, case, a decision, a decision to fix a hearing date. It's also a decision of the court. And I think it can be looked at. Okay. We'll see uh, the, how the coming days will look like because it's the, look, the election is look, on 27th The men's gold case. Men, Attorney General. Okay, thank for you. For the past four years, he has Lord, refused, Lord, people, he has refused to list this, that the men's gold equation. matter for hearing. It's matter. been agent 35 times. Because it, it's just one that came through. It's not but, right. But, yeah, good. Yes, this comment. Yes. Lawyer, uh, uh, this uh, Awaji Debra mm. said this comment. I love oh, this I very comment. Okay. That, I'm not aware. Uh, that, yes, so, mm. I mean, or maybe it's from okay. elsewhere. But mm. it, it struck me when they said that the articulacy will be heard daily. Mm. And Nam one's case has mm. been adjourned for the 35th time. Mm. It just summed everything up. I don't think it, we need to say it's, anything it's, more. It's not good. I mean, okay. because Nam one, whose case has affected millions of our citizens, mm. has caused people so much pain, disease, death, etc. Yes, that one is not urgent. Uh, is this one that. Oh, well, well. Mm, boy. Okay. Let me keep quiet. <laughs> yeah, I just want first and foremost to correct the 
misrepresentation that the case was filed two years ago. The case was filed actually on the 12th of February 2022. That is not two years. No. I was that, told that it was filed two I'm years ago. I'm giving okay. the specific date. Okay. So I'm telling you that it is not two years ago. That is one. I mean, he was charged with five counts. Again, that is within the court to decide. He is a lawyer. He knows that that is the discretionary power of the court system to decide on days of management. So for me, I will leave it at that to say that the judiciary will be a different arm of government and being entrusted with the mandate of dispensing justice. If they decide on that and they feel it's fit to do that in the interest of, I mean, uh, delivering justice, why not? So I think that we can have disagreement with how, and it's genuine when we disagree with the courts on how they go about dispersing their justice, which is within our right. But let us also be mindful that the, the courts are there to serve the people of Ghana. And when they are doing it, we can discuss it from, from that particular perspective. Okay. May Thank I, you. May I respond quickly? Uh, in, Exercise in of seconds. discretion or not to be arbitrary. Of course, we know that we do not to be administrative justice are okay. law. Yes, has it or that not to be arbitrary. We know that. We know Just that. for the record. Yeah. I know right. that. Uh, Dr. <clears throat> Tia Abdul Kabiru Mahama yeah. is Technical Advisor, Office of the President. Also, thank you to you, Roxy Nelson, Dafi Amgo, MP for South Dai. And to you, lawyer Martin Pebble, appreciate your time. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us this, this morning on Key Point. Stay with me. We're live on 3FM 92.7. An exclusive interview with lawyer Chachu Chikata comes up right after this quick break. This is Key Point. We have a number of things to talk about with lawyer Chachu Chikata. It promises to be interesting. Stay with me. We'll be back shortly.